Hi, welcome to 2021 Daily Devotional. And my name is Sheila, and I will be sharing with you what does fasting do? The first part we want to recognize is that fasting breaks the yoke of the enemy. In Isaiah 58, 6, it says, This is not the fast that I have chosen, to loose the bonds of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, to let the oppressed go free, and to break every yoke. This is the fast that God has given the people of um, Israel through the house of Jacob. And we believe today God wants us to continue to uh, understand what fasting is. And it is to set us free from the yoke of the enemy. And the word yoke literally means to be um, f- controlled by an instrument in which the enemy uses to enter into our lives to cause us to be captive to. And to share my testimony briefly, I just want to share with you, when I first gave my life to Christ, I loved God. I confessed him as my Lord and Savior, and I was serving him to the best of my knowledge. But there were points in my life that I felt like I was continually going to the altar for deliverance. And God showed me it had to come out through prayer and fasting. And so the yokes that are placed in our life, I want to name a few. Uh, One is anger. One is guilt. uh, The spirit of lust. uh, Bitterness. Greed. Envy. Those are some of the things that the enemy uses as believers to control us. And so God has given us a fast in order for us to break those yokes or those instruments of control or those demons of control off of our lives. And so through fasting and praying, I as a young adult, not too long ago, um, had to experience through fasting and praying the spirit of uh, just the freedom from the yokes that were on my life. And God truly set me free. And it was through prayer and fasting. So um, uh, identification number two is fasting makes a way for complete victory. We will experience victory in Jesus Christ through fasting and praying. And I want to read with you Matthew 17, 21. It says, this kind of demon does not go out except by prayer and fasting. He was speaking to the disciples because they, they were astounded. Oh, wow. How did Jesus, how did you do that? We've been praying for this person and nothing happened. Well, Jesus said through prayer and fasting, the enemy will have to go. I looked up the word um, to go out means to expel. So think about when you were in school and the worst thing that could happen when you got in trouble was to be expelled out of school, meaning that you weren't coming back. And so God said through prayer and fasting that the enemy can be broken off your life and he will not be able to come back again. So think about that, casting out, expel. You wanna get rid of him totally out of your life? Try prayer and fasting. And so the next, the third reason why we choose to fast is when we fast, we're partnering it with prayer. So it's not just fasting, because if it's just fasting, that's just a, a strict diet. But God said, I want you to pray and fast. And I remember a scripture in 2 Chronicles, and I want to read that for you. It's 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 11. It says, that my people who are called by my name humble themselves and pray. So I found that doing fasting is a time to humble myself and separate myself from things of the world, which are media, the phone, uh, TV, things that I would do in my normal life during the time of fasting and consecration. God said, I don't want you to just abstain from food. I want you to spend time in my presence. And so why should we do that? Spend time in his presence. Says, turn from your wicked ways. And he says, then I will hear from heaven and forgive you of your sin and heal your land. So God says, I want to communicate with you. I want to give you some clear instructions. I want you to hear my voice. So if you partner with God in prayer, deny your flesh and spend time in his presence and seek him in prayer. God said, if you pray in secret, I'll reward you in openly. And so I know we're going to set a time this time in devotion to prepare us for things to come. So in 2021, we want to be prepared. How? We want to be yokes to be broken off our lives so we can live victoriously. Then we want to experience complete victory in Christ. And then we want to have prayer, powerful prayer lives. And so when I hear God's voice, look, according, look according to Acts 13, 2 and 3. It says, one day as these men were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, that was key. What came first? They worship God through prayer and they fast. Then they heard the Holy Spirit speak to them. And when you, can, when you spend time in God's presence, you will hear his voice clearly and you will know for sure what he wants you to do and how to strategize and how to work 
a partner with the Holy Spirit so he can guide you and lead you to all truth. And so we want to experience victory and allow the Holy Spirit to speak to us. And then last but not least, fasting prepares us for the enemy's temptation. How do we know that? Let's look at Matthew chapter four, verses one through two. It says, then Jesus was led by the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. Okay. So temptation is coming. The test is coming. So are we going to be prepared? Yes. We're going to fast. We're going to pray. We're going to partner with the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit is going to guide us and lead us to our truth. And so when the enemy comes, it's like we, had, we were victorious in 2020. We're going to be more victorious in 2021 because we're spending 21 days with God and partnering with him and experience yokes being broken off our lives. And we're going to seek God's face and we're going to hear his voice. And then he's going to lead us and says fasting in the beginning of the year. Allow God to take first priority in our lives. Putting God first, preparation. A good mom, she prepares her meals before the kids come home. So she's not in a panic. So on the way home, kids say, mom, I'm hungry. Oh, okay, I'm ready for that. I've cooked you a good meal. We're going to go home and eat and we're prepared. An athlete, he works out. So when it comes time to perform, he's ready. Right? So, so God is saying, be prepared. Fasting allows you to say to the flesh, no to the flesh and yes to God. We will be overcomers. We'll be more than conquerors through Christ Jesus. We will overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. What does that mean? That we had a test and we passed the test. So now we have a story. Amen. So to say all that, what do we do? Why do we fast? We fast to have a victorious Christian life before God. And we're going to experience the voice of God and we're going to experience victory. And when we're led by the spirit, God says, oh, I can trust them. They're prepared and they're ready for the fight because at every uh, battle we win. Like Pastor Lisa said on um, Wednesday night, the fight is fixed. And because we prepared ourselves through fasting and praying, we will be ready. Amen. God bless you.